Hello, Scorpio. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using The Light Seer's Tarot by Chris Ann, just at the top there. Um, the back of the book here is a picture of Chris Ann, and if you freeze frame, there's Chris Ann dash, no, Chris dash Ann dot com, and with an E. Feel free to check that out if you want to. Supportive Oracle Cards, Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. Websites are Hay House websites. There's all the Hay House websites. Feel free to freeze frame on those if you want them. They'll show up. And there's also a hayhouseradio.com in the back here, along with Sandra's picture if you're interested. Feel free to freeze frame on that too if you need it or want it. Okay, what do we have for Scorpio? Alright, we like that card. What else do we have going on? A lot of, something good is coming forward. That, that's fun. This card's pushing out of the deck. Um, maybe somebody is getting out of your way. What's going on there? Somebody getting out of your way, that's not so bad. Kind of like... All three of these. That heartbreak card. For all three, yeah. All three water signs had that heartbreak card. Um, no, I don't think this... I feel like something it feels bad to start with. Because I'm getting the Knight of Swords with stress is where this is starting. Kind of like, this is not how I wanted this to go. But maybe this is something that's been overdue to change. Like, you know, I feel like Scorpio tends to be okay with change when it's on your terms, uh, if that makes sense. Communication is not good in here either. Communication is not going well at all, is what I'm also getting. Um, Eight of Pentacles and the High Priestess. It's something that I just feel like it just didn't feel like it was going to end. It just didn't feel like it was going to end. And maybe the way it ended is not quite ideal. But, you know, that's how life does what life does. It may not have ended in a way that was ideal. Um, there's kind of a masculine feel to this, which I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Other than, other than just, like, it did what it did, and just we're looking at it on paper, like, well, it is what it is. Um, I feel like it's one of those responses to it, like, well, this is what happened, and this is what happened because of it, and that's what happened after that, and it all makes sense. Emotionally, I don't like it, but analytically, I'm like, well, no, I, I get where I, I get why it happened. Like, I understand it emotion. I understand it analytically. Emotionally, I'm just not feeling like I like it. In fact, the way it worked out, I'm kind of having a hard time letting go of it. Um, and I don't think that's bad. I don't think that's a bad thing. I feel like there's something here that you just have not made peace with, and you need to sort it out for your own happiness. I do see you letting it go at some point, but what is helping you sort out? What, what do you need to sort out? It's an ending. The death card and then the ace of swords. Um, the sooner you let it go, the easier this gets. It's not going to be, it's just not going to be wrapped up in a nice bow. It's just not, I don't think you expect it to, but it's almost like when you're looking for explanations or you're looking for answers and they just never come, it's just like, you just don't get the answers. I don't know how else to say it. Like Whatever the issue is, you're looking for the reason this happened, why that happened, what was going on here. You want those answers. They're not there. They're just poof, not there. Um, it seems like every answer has a contradiction. Kind of like if that was the answer, then this wouldn't be true. All right, then this must be the answer. Then you're like, wait, no, if that was the answer, then this over here wouldn't be true. So that's not the answer. So what else could be? It's just like every time I look for another answer, I feel like I have one for maybe a split second, then something else blows that out of the water. The more you keep searching for answers for this situation, I feel like it just drags your energy down. It becomes a headache. It becomes a situation where it just never works right. I just can't seem to make sense of it. Letting go and pushing it away is letting go of this disappointment. I almost want to say disappointment with the heartbreak. Is it heartbreak? Broken heart. It feels more like disappointment. I'm very disappointed in what this is. This does not have to be romantic. I... I feel like that's obvious, but you probably know that. You are still stable. You're on your new path. You're still on your path. You're going where you're going. Where you want to be in life has changed, but you're still going to make it where you want to go. Things have changed here. 
Um, Scorpio doesn't usually give up. I understand that. I get, but I feel like this is a situation where you can fight to keep it alive as long as you want to, but it's just going to keep falling apart. Um, magician and the the page of fire. If you keep, like your natural energy is to not give up. I feel like that is a natural thing for Scorpio to not give up. The challenge in this one, ironically, is to let go, to give up. Um, it's just holding you from good things. Because the tower's here with the hostilities. And it, I feel like as long as you fight this, it's just living in this, it's like living in this old castle that always has a thunderstorm and rain and there's always people fighting and you ne things never work out right. We got to leave the castle. Things never work right at this castle. We got to leave it. And the sooner we leave it, the sooner we can have a better life. Your natural energy is to not give up. I understand that. I respect that. So it's on you. I don't, well, there we go. It's up to you is what I wanted to say, but it said the other way. Um, how long you're going to hold on to this because it's like this nine of cups, the way that person is, like just throwing all those bowls is how I look at it. They're throwing all those bowls all over the place. Like I'm giving it up. I'm done with it. I'm sick of trying to feed all you people. I'm sick of trying to make it work. You all don't want to work with me. I don't want to work with you either. Bye. Um, and just walking away. Literally just walking away. For Scorpio, I almost feel like the equivalent of this is having a really good high-paying job that you can't stand. And you've been doing it for years, and no matter what happens, you still can't stand it. And saying, you know what, I'm going to downsize my life, I'm going to sell my house, I'm going to live in a smaller place, and I'm going to go find a job that may be a lot less money, but a lot more happiness. <laughs> Bye. And just doing it. And just doing it. I don't care what other people think. It's about how my life is and the quality of my life, and I am not happy here. And I'm not going to waste one more minute wasting my time in a place that I can't stand. Because that's the equivalent of the type of change I'm getting for you. Like, it's that difficult. Kind of like, I have to give up a lot to do this, but you know what? In the long run, I gain a lot more. I gain a lot more. Because I see the Ace of Cups coming in with the Four of Wands. When you walk away from what's not working, you're not going to return to something similar. You're just not going to be willing to do it. Kind of like, nope, not getting myself into that type of situation. That boat, not for me. Not getting on that one. I'm staying on land from now on. It might be a water sign, but I'm still staying on land. I'm done with that. Um, and you're going to find yourself a much better situation, and you're going to stay with that. You're going to stick with something that makes you feel good and that you actually like. Um, the Ace of Swords is also coming in, which I'm trying to understand. Like You might be shocking other people, and they might have their own problems to deal with because of it. But I also see them leaving you alone. Um, in fact, you giving up, they might like it, which is almost funny to me because they think things are going to be better by you leaving. <laughs> oh, I've seen this happen before, too. Scorpio is very dynamic. Y'all get a lot done. People don't know how you get everything done, and people, I feel like, usually don't understand how much you're really doing. You guys are very dynamic. And whoever this is, there might be somebody that thinks once you're gone, life's going to be great, but this is the challenge card for them. It's not. Because I feel like what's going to happen is they're going to be sitting there like, wait, how do I get this done? How do I do that? How come all of this doesn't get done? How come there's so much left undone? How, much, how come this is such a disarray? How come this isn't working anymore? Because the Scorpio did a lot more than you ever knew. The Scorpio did a lot more than you ever knew. Because Scorpios just get it done. They don't sit there and talk about it. They, they don't have time. They just, they're getting things done. And over time, whoever this is is going to have to pick up those pieces and they're going to have to do it themselves and they're going to have to pick up that slack on their own. They got the temperance with the action card. It's going to take them a long time to really bring it up to speed. And you're going to be one of those people, if it was going to be a job analogy, it's going to take three to five people to fill the shoes that you left. Three to five people, depending on what you're dealing with here. Um, there's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of people thinking, thinking they can do it better. But when they try to, they're going to find out that what you did by yourself, it's going to take three to five people to pick up the slack. Three to five people. I keep getting that. But I've known some Scorpios. They're quite whirlwinds. They're awesome. They get things done. It's hard to follow them. It's like a challenge just to stay out of the way, try to help but stay out of the way at the same time. That's been my experience anyway, but I'm a Pisces. I get along with Scorpios for the most part. You want to help, but you also want to stay out of the way, so it's kind of like a balance there. I don't want to cause issue for the Scorpio. I want to help where I can, but not get in the way. 
you just kind of have to intuitively watch what you should do, what you should stay away from. <laughs> Seems like it's a balancing act. You let me know if I'm wrong. Um, they, uh, judgment? Okay, judgment isn't everybody's favor, is it? Well, let's clarify that. I don't know if I'm buying that. Because I'm getting like, you might leave and so might the other person, whatever that means. If there's more than one person, other people might leave too. Uh, Seven of Cups and the Temperance card. You know what? You may be the first to leave, but like, for example, if, if, if this was, just to give another example, uh, a relationship and the other person got the house, just to say it for that reason, they're not going to keep that house either. Or like whatever they're like, they can't, they're just going to give up because they're like, I can't do what the Scorpio used to do. I can't keep this going. I just, I'm just going to, I'm out, I'm out. Whoever this is, they can't seem to do it either. If it's a job and say it's somebody above you who thinks they can do things better without you in the way, once you're gone, it's going to get a lot, a lot harder and they're going to get so frustrated that they're going to leave too which is hilarious to me because they, they thought you were the problem, you were the solution. They just didn't see it correctly. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Um, so you won't be there to see their just desserts come around to them, but hey, that's how life usually works. We don't usually see people get what they deserve. At least I don't think we do usually. So there you go. So what is the overall message for Scorpio? Let go. Accept it and let go. Go towards what makes you really happy. Other people, you won't see it, but they'll get what they deserve. Let go. I feel like it's let go. I feel like that's the total message. Like the sooner you let go, the sooner you stop fighting for something that you really don't want. Because I feel like that's your natural energy, like to not give up. They're like, no, give up. You don't want this. You really don't want this. So stop fighting for it. If this hits, of course. Are we done? All right. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email. James for Astral at gmail.com. That's James the number four, Astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below with the same email. Thank you for watching and have a great day.